And the CDC has updated its guidance on isolating for COVID-19. It includes new recommendations for what to do if you test positive at the end of your five day quarantine. Now you'll remember the CDC recommended the five day isolation period last week. The shortened quarantine has been facing pressure from outside medical experts who wanted the agency to include a testing component. So the latest CDC guidelines do not directly advise a test for isolated people. However, if you want to take a test, the CDC says the best approach is to use a rapid test toward the end of your five day isolation. If that test is positive, you should continue quarantining until 10 days after your symptoms started. If that test is negative, your isolation can end, but you're still advised to wear a mask around other people until day 10. The recommendations also advise people who are isolating to avoid places where they can't wear a mask, like the gym and restaurants. The CDC also advises people not to eat around others until day 10. President Biden urges concern, but not alarm as Omicron cases rise and the U.S. sets new records for infections. Mayor Lenny Curry tested positive for COVID-19 today with cold-like symptoms. News for Jack's reporter Bree Isom is joining us live. Bree, you spoke with an infectious disease specialist about this surge of the Omicron variant. Yes, and he says not to panic because you may notice that hospitalizations aren't as up as high as they were with the Delta variant back a few months ago. And he says that could be because more people are vaccinated. We're going to see, as you all have been hearing, continued rise in cases. President Biden spoke Tuesday about the U.S.'s approach to the surge of the Omicron variant. He urges people to protect themselves by getting vaccinated. Dr. Mohamed Reza, an infectious disease specialist, says hospitals aren't filling up as much locally as they were with the Delta variant surge. Part of the reason is because of vaccinations. The rate of hospitalization due to the Omicron variant was less by one third from that data up from a recent study from the UK compared to the Delta variant, which is fantastic news. At Baptist Health's five hospitals, there are 111 COVID patients as of today, three more than reported on Monday. 80% of those patients are not fully vaccinated. 10 patients are in the ICU. You have Health Jacksonville reported on Monday they had 70 COVID patients and 14 in the ICU. Dr. Reza referred to this chart from the CDC. Across the country, the Delta variant only accounts for 4.6% of all COVID infections, while the Omicron variant accounts for 95.4%. We're talking about some of the most contagious viruses known to humans. President Biden also mentioned that he ordered double the amount of Pfizer's antiviral pills for the country, pills that will decrease hospitalization. But Dr. Reza says these pills have not been proven to work against the Omicron variant. We're not sure yet because that data looked at more so the Delta variant, but I'm hopeful that it will. Now coming up on news for Jax at 11, what doc, when Dr. Reza says this surge will hopefully be over. Reporting live in Jacksonville, Bree Isom, Channel 4, The Local Station.